So the next thing that we would like to do is we would like to add one button to our delete. And for that, we'll just go to the edit page and on the top over here, uh, here we have an icon button. And let us add the one more icon button over here. So we'll just call it as a icon, icon button, right? And then we have to pass in the unpressed as well as the icon over here. So just pass the icon const and then we'll be icon and the icon start it will be of a delete right so the e l e delete and then on pressed we want to call the function over here so let's go and create the delete function over here so currently we have a edit and then we will create a one more function now this is a void function so it's not going to return anything so delete employee and we have to go and call the let's go to the over here the database and we need to call the where is that delete right so we just need to pass in the id so we have the id that already and here we will just go and call the underscore uh, db dot delete the employee and we need to pass in the id which we can get it from the uh, employee dot the wicket dot the id that we have right so and then we can also call the same uh, that uh, then when we get the value and then we just can copy the same thing this one i think we'll just copy all of those and then we will just paste in over here okay and i think that should be fine we need some more closing bracket over here yeah that should be fine now and here we say that um, we will say that employee deleted right so employee deleted okay so that should be fine and now we can uh, call this one so if you want to format or something that's up to you you can just go and format all of this stuff so we'll just go on to the top and call that function so uh, we need to call it from here right so we will call it as a delete employee and so let's go and rerun our application and let's go to the the last one so currently we have up to nine i think uh, let's go over here and uh, i think this is the one that we can delete it so let us delete it. yeah employee got deleted so we got this one deleted so let's go back and uh, we need to hard reload one more time and yeah if the employee is deleted so let's delete this one too so if i close this one and if i go and hard reload it again and you can see that employee is deleted so currently we have to hard reload every time the next uh, you can also what you can do is you can add a uh, pull to request so whenever you have pull to request then it will actually go and get the get the employee from database or the next thing also you can do is instead of uh, returning uh, here if you get employee it is returning a future you can also return a stream over here so when you return a stream uh, you don't have to uh, hot reload or you don't have to pull the request whenever something changes, it will auto update your particular list so that's a uh, homework for you uh, i will give it leave it to you as a homework try to implement it and uh, let's meet up on the next one and we will try to do something interesting over here and until then have a great day